Um, what's your main advice for them? Yeah, I mean, unfortunately, it's a lot about opportunity. You know, there are the exceptions where somebody's just a gifted athlete or something happens, but in general, you need to have the opportunity to spend a lot of time on skis. When I was young, that was my big advantage. I was in New Hampshire and I skied all the time. I skied, you know, almost every single day that the mountain was open. So, um, you know, and, and having fun with it, that's big. I mean, you don't, you don't ever get good at skiing until you're older, period. Even if you're good when you're 14 or good when you're 15, it's still like that qualification for 15, you know? Like, you're not, nobody wins World Cups at 14, 15, and um, so you have to be patient enough to make it to 24 years old, you know, if you want to actually race at the very top. If you're just looking to race, it's a, it, that's, I really love the sport just for that part of it, like for recreationally having some fun, adding something new to the sport, going and entering some local races and stuff. But taking it seriously is really tough. It's like, as soon as you start pushing, it's like, and, and like most things, it's addictive, you know, because you, you start to figure things out and you get ad addicted to it and you want to get better and better and better and better. But in the end, it's, it's a tough sport. It's, injuries are really extreme. You know, the human body is not really designed for that kind of thing. So I love the recreational racing side of it. I don't think it's... You know, if you want to race professionally, you better make a very conscious choice about that because there's a high likelihood.